All right, here we are, me and Andy, back again for the commentary for this big one. The Adventure of the Sargus or something like that. <laughs> yeah. We just realized that th we've been working on this film for about six months. Who's we? Andy has been working <laughs> on this film for about six months. I, I think you had, a, like, a mind part. Yeah. Considering the credits. A couple and... parts in here. Yeah. I, I just kind of dabbled in it a little. It was uh, Andy's idea to do the sci-fi and the, do have me as every character and the story and all that. So yeah. props to him. Now here we have the opening shot. This is the actual ship that's the Sargus, yep. in case you didn't realize the title. It's actually this ship, not the actual ship, the continuous little thing. And that's why the thing's on the back. And that's Andy right there. Yes. Which is a whole part of the beginning scene that we kind of took out of this film. It was a scene of Andy giving a little monologue of how he feels out of place in the ship, giving this false protagonist that he is the, uh, the uh, main character of the movie, but he... Yeah, it's to add a layer of deception as it's the theme of the entire movie. Right. But he died. And we, we took this scene out due to lack of funniness, which is kind of ironic, because the only scene with the character, not me, got deleted. Yeah, it was more that it was a lot of work to get it to work, because a lot of right. problems in our shooting of it, and I just didn't like my fit self. That's true. Yeah. Um, and there, there I was just eating a cookie and later pizza and Cool Whip, which was not a tasty combination. I'll just say that now, as we're thumbing through our books that we got from the office of office supplies <laughs> all the things you see floating in the background we kind of just threw yeah in the green in screen fr in front of a green screen most yeah. of this is shot either in front of a green screen or in front of aluminum foil yeah. which is actually space blankets that we andy ordered online i believe no we got them at walmart that's that's where we got them so high budget <laughs> same with these suits that we're all wearing they're actually from menards Home Depot. Home Depot. Yeah. And uh, they're painter suits. Yeah. Disposable. As we... Key awesome. word on disposable there because they were just ripping him. You can slowly see as our costumes begin to shred them. Yes. You can actually tell the order we shot everything by the, the, the level the, of degrading on yo, the... Yeah, exactly. On, on the suits. Yeah. At the end, there's pretty much no pants. Yeah. <laughs> you can see duct tape holding them together. Yes. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, and this was all shot in the youth room. We pretty much just moved all the set in front of, you know, one screen there. And as you can see, the lights kind of shift as our voices get louder. That's because the spotlights we were using were on a bass kind of voice system. So when you made big noises, they would flash, which kind of made it inconvenient to our shooting. Yes, but <laughs> it added a little effect. Yeah. Little drama. Yeah. Do -do. And you see the little command console that everybody's behind? Me and Jeremy spent like a whole night putting that together. It's made out of tubing, PCP, PCV tubing, and cardboard, cardboard and, and duct tape. Duct tape, lots of duct tape and lots, card. Lots and of staples too. I almost yes, got hurt. Yes, it's very painful. Yes. And we just moved it on every scene to make it yeah. look like it was a bunch of control panels, but it's only one. See, what I really like is that the one character you choose to wear my glasses for is the one that's pretty much retarded. <laughs> There's a little subtle hints in this uh, movie. Anyways. Um, and that those TV screens back there are obviously the game systems we have in the youth room, and they're actually the Halo. We uploaded that screensaver on the back to make it look spacey. Yeah, I kind of threw it together some random elements I found we have on a disc of element things. Right. And you can see kind of things that around the church in the background, like we were using Pastor Scott's computer back there. And there's Ben. There's an obvious mistake. It was very <laughs> subtle. Yeah, very he should have put shift. his hair up a little more. Yeah, he, he's a lot more uglier than me, so kind of <laughs> obvious. See, there's Pastor Cass's computer on the left. We kind of hacked into it and we're deleting oh, files. You should see the deleted scenes where. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Or the bloopers <laughs> where. Uh, <laughs> I uh, almost destroy it. So. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Here you can catch the reference to the Miles Fletcher character that I played in the game that we cut out. Yeah, which you can look at in the deleted scenes. Yeah. So the reference is kind of erroneous right now. Erroneous. Yes. Erroneous. <laughs> and you can see the name on the badge there. That was Andy's idea for the very long name. Yes. Very subtle letters that I had to memorize on several loca occasions, not locations. This was one of our first days of shootings. Actually, our very first one was the ninja scene. Yeah, that Rosebud is actually a reference to uh, Susan Cain. 
Or or the Sims, like I like to say, the cheat for money. Yeah. And that that bald wig, that one was a pain in the rear. I'm not gonna lie. We got that from a nice costume shop in Anoka. And it was pretty much like a latex glove that I had to shimmy under my head. I've heard it called a different thing. But uh, yeah, but yeah. we'll not go there because it literally would just like pull your hair and crap and it was painful. It was fun. And we all kind of shared it too, so it was all yeah. sweaty. And, oh, it was. I kind of want to vomit just thinking about it. <laughs> and there's Marston, our, our favorite character, I think. Yeah. It's, uh, During this, up. he the line uh, "A hot summer's day." Yes, became a. It was the first line you used for him, and it's where you. It's what the line you said to get into character. Exactly. That's that's every time I need to get in that almost feminine kind of like thing. I'd be like, "On a hot summer's day." Yeah. So, and that obviously is based off of Lucas. So, in his earlier years. Yeah, I told him the character should be maybe a little effeminate, and yeah, this is what we got. Yeah, I kind of went overboard. Yeah. And there's the mustache, my father's mustache, but uh, I stole it. Yeah, this whole thing is shot like against one wall. One wall, we only had enough space blankets to form one wall. One wall, and we just kept rotating in front of yeah. that one wall. The person you see the back of the head of is uh, Justin, if you can't tell. Yeah. And I pretty much had to make a graph to figure out the locations to keep it consistent. And a couple of shots I had to flip. You might notice that the... Uh, Name logo is on the wrong side and such. Usually, when you see blonde hair, it's Justin. <laughs> yes. Good one. Okay. Now we need a plural noun. Idiots. I think that's the most cleverest part of the script. Idiots? No, the uh, any noun. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I uh, like how the random flashing light appears on his desk <laughs> to <laughs> signify that there's an alarm. Yes. yes. <laughs> Very nice. Now that that fat, I think I have in my belly is actually another uniform. Now if you watch here, you notice that somebody just disappeared. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we ran out of people late at night. Yeah. Justin had to go home. Little crybaby, that's bad, yeah. so. Now here, I threw in random explosions, and if you might not notice it, but it's actually covering up the cuts to make it smoother. So the explosion is actually happening right when it tr transitions between two cuts. Which is nice. I like using volume to help transition things. Oh, it's, like, it's the shaking of the camera. Right, and the volume too. So, I'm right. <laughs> you're, you're wrong. Okay. All right. You know what? We'll fight afterwards. And right. you can see the drum set in the background. Very nice little... I thought it looked spacey though, so it was cool. Yes. Our electric yes. drums. <laughs> you know, the captain is quite a drum player, so he likes to play them after, between scenes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were hoping to have a you know, captain's hat that he'd give to the lieutenant right. to signify it, but uh, well, when we found it, the cap at the at the costume the costume shop, shop had a little sailor's hat that he wanted me to wear. It was awesome. It would have been perfect, <laughs> but I it wouldn't even fit on my head. <laughs> and it looked a little uh, homosexual. That's that's a holy bible right there. Yes, we, we just created we, it. We plastered a <laughs> Flash Gordon all over. Yes. You may not catch the reference, but the whole theme is kind of based off of Don Quixote. The uh, it's about an old senile guy who thinks he wants to be a knight, and he ends up thinking he is one. Mm -hmm. And in this one, he he the janitor wishes he was a captain, and that's why he's he's very into sci-fi and okay. superhero sci-fi people. That's why he's reading Flash Gordon. Right. And it's the whole thing of deception, too. Yes. The whole theme of deception, which is elemental to the story. Right, exactly. Brilliant. Brilliant. See, as you can see where the aluminum foil randomly ends. That's where we... Oh, there's the nice door shot. Two tables, coffee tables, coffee no, no, stains on them. That's blood stains. Oh, that's blood stains. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, and there's the very nice. These are all my toys from my basement. Yeah, they're well, actually about the same size. So yeah, as yeah, each other. So composited two different shots. Exactly. It'll look good. Uh, a lot of green screen in here. A lot yeah. of composite shots. Yes. Right here, you're seeing. This is actually all Daniel, and then we shot it three different shots. We just recorded recorded him, and he just changed characters and moved to each spot, and then I just cut the edges to make them fit. Very tedious, because I had to keep getting dressed every line. <laughs> yes, that trick we used many a times okay, throughout yes. the whole thing. That's why it took six months. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite shot. This one we had a kind of a problem with where to put people. 
yeah. due to the smallness of our set. You know, we had one wall, so it was like, how, how can we make this work with a group of people? As you can see, there's no one really behind me now, but later there might be. <laughs> see. Well, they're off to the side. Yeah, that's what we kind of went for, is off yeah. to the side kind of stuff. We actually had to reshoot this, because the first time I had you sh talking to the screen, yeah. and I realized that almost made, actually made sense. Yeah, it did. A lot of things almost made sense, and that wasn't good. <laughs> and our chairs are nice. Ikea <laughs> chairs. Yeah. <laughs> My voice randomly changes. That's I had a hard time keeping some of these voices. That's why I had to have the one line. That See, this shot right here is actually green screen. Really? So all three people you're seeing there is Daniel. Yeah. That's good, but Titus isn't moving. So. <laughs> he's oh, dead. there he is. Oh, he's alive. Oh, Red. here's the face mail. This worked out really well, actually. We only had to do one shot with this, didn't we? I think so, yeah. For the face mail, yeah. You actually... It actually worked with the Your transmission? Yeah. Yeah, you should, if you see the raw footage of it, it's really, because the room is so small that we shot it, we shot it in Pastor Scott's office, and it's kind of angled, we have to adjust the cloth, it's just perfect. Yeah. There's like no room. That so was the problem here, no room, not enough room. Yeah, and if you kind of lean to the edge, it gets cut off. But it kind of works with the transmission. Yeah, it does look good. The actual idea for the way he talks was kind of how sometimes I leave messages on people. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really awkward and stuff like this right now. Um, but it's, also, it's also kind of inspired by the uh, on Galaxy Quest, the one guy. Yeah, the, the shipmate who sits down and is like, yeah, the ship's kind of falling apart, FYI. That's definitely what I was going for there. That's kind of a reference to Star, War Star Wars, Wars right yeah. there. Your last two. A lot of a lot of spoofs, a lot of subtle references. A lot of not so subtle references. Hello? Hello? That's part of uh, yeah. I like it. How do we get this joke? What? How did we get this joke? It was just about people weird stupid people who like to leave <laughs> fake messages that make you think you're answering it. I thought it'd be kind of funny, or what if it was really urgent? <laughs> that's, uh, that's my messages for you. Hello? And then, don't, and then click beep. And then they leave the message. <laughs> but I still love them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, those doors are awesome. Yeah. One of our best parts, I think. Here's a Star Trek reference. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I don't like my acting in this scene. You're very off with actual... Yeah, music. I know. We should have had a plan. Yeah. Did it. yeah. I offered, but you didn't want to. Yeah, you thought, you, you thought you were magical timing or something. Which I do. You will find here. I will point it out how many times I got the timing right. Yeah. Right there, that's actually my hand holding the wig in front of the camera. <laughs> A lot of these are like holding objects to make it seem like we're all in the same room. Yeah. Because we always had to keep reference to the other person to help keep the illusion that there's more than one person. Yeah. Ooh, there's the walls just flapping in the breeze. <laughs> yes, it's very thin. Yes. <laughs> I like how the door magically opens before you go to it. <laughs> yeah, it, it senses thought. Yes. If you want to go in, it will open. And that mustache flopping in the wind, too. The planet Gal Gamma Valorium is actually the name of the star. I looked it up. I was trying to think of and find real things. It's pretty good. Oh, here's the landing. That was kind of a joke, like I was just playing with the toy and then we're like, yeah, that kind of works, so we crash landed it. Here I was kind of trying to think of ideas when writing it of things, kind of sci-fi-ish things of the future, Yeah. and I thought, I don't like it putting my jacket off when I go outside, <laughs> jacket on. <laughs> so have something else do it for you. have a very expensive and energy inefficient com device that puts it on for you. Here's a wood scene, this is actually a woods over by the Dukic household that I actually wandered into one day and got lost. And I figured, hey, this is kind of a cool place to shoot. So we walked in about a mile and <laughs> shot in here, in dead woods. It was kind of still cold outside. I remember being quite freezing. And uh, it worked out well, I think. 
Andy, yeah. can I give it an orange kind of hue to it, I think? Yeah, I, I tried to give the illusion of that each planet had kind of a different atmospheric feel. Yeah. This one I went with orange. Yeah. Orange all. I like that. <laughs> and you'll notice in this one, Titus's wig's kind of like totally... It's starting to fall apart. Yeah. We had to buy another one. Needless to say. Throughout the whole thing, we kind of... We only had three actors or so at a time yep. to play all the different parts. So, most shots you only see only three, three people. at a time. Yeah. But, in this, we kind of use that to our advantage to... There's a character we forgot behind, and it's kind of... Exactly. I think we wrote one character too many in this film. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, they're always one person short yep. of what we're shooting. Right here. The wig, the, yeah. the bald wig is pretty much disintegrated. And that's so not Ben behind you. Yeah. <laughs> and that's so not Justin in the wig. <laughs> now, the idea of the sound was we were playing, uh, what was it, Gears of War? Yep. With John Porter. <laughs> That wig is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's some sound effect of the aliens or whatever they are. And it reminded me of gargling. Yeah. So that's what it's supposed to be. Let's just go. Now here's we transition from the woods into right next to the church, which is kinda smooth. It worked out yeah. decent. Even though it was shot like three months later. <laughs> yeah. See here we have like This was the first what we shot the first day, I think. Yeah. And you, you, it looks like we have a bunch of ninjas, but there's actually only three. Yeah. We repeated them. Over and over. Yeah. And there's me with my shirt off, in case you didn't notice. Kind of white. I thought you were wearing a white shirt. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've definitely gotten tanner since then. Yeah. Right. And more muscular. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, we were just carrying me on a table, covered with a green cloth, and yeah, we ended it out. That was really bad. <laughs> yeah. Could have been easier, right? Yeah, and we had to choreograph these fights <laughs> pretty much on the spot. <laughs> but it worked out pretty darn sweet, I don't know why. And that we learned how to make those ninja head outfits online. Yeah. Out of t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. showed Justin how to do it, and like, the same day, he had it on his MySpace. Yep, exactly. And you can tell it's Justin, Ben, and then DJ, obviously, is the tall, gangly one. Okay. With this box, boxers kind of flop in the wind. I like the random people in the house behind us just staring at us and walking around. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of people staring at us. Yes, that's definitely was the theme. I like this cutout here. Yeah, there's garbage all around us. I don't know yeah. where the garbage came from. But, and then and there's, there's DJ's yeah. boxes. Yeah. We had to actually reshoot part of it because his were exposed even more before. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, like his bare whole bottom. <laughs> There's the car behind me. <laughs> Just random things. Yeah. Right no. there, they're actually hitting deep. Yeah, right in thorns with my shirt off, so yes. it wasn't nice. Now, this we actually shot like three days later. And we actually just did the scenes with our. our no, that shot right there was probably the most impressive shots, because we shot it. The inside, it's actually two different shots. The inside is. Uh, is the ninjas. And we just kind of shot it there, yeah. not knowing what to do. And no, like, we uh, we shot these feet hitting the ninjas one day, and then we shot us kicking the other day, like yeah. that. See, like you can, the feet are totally different from us kicking. Yeah, very interesting stuff. This is the very most mashed up from completely different days. Yep, but it worked out. And this is a totally different day. We actually tried to reshoot this with extra blood splitting, which is the original plan. Yeah. But it just didn't turn out quite as well. Blood shooting out of the arm every which way, but it didn't work out. And here we are walking towards the city. Now the actual space colony is supposed to be just kind of normal residential area. Right. And here's a total complications reference if anyone noticed, which I think everyone did. And so it's all filmed pretty much where we film complications with the car right there. Yes. So, and there's... There's some random there. garbage we threw on you. Yep. There's actually, like, an hour of footage of you unburying him. The, uh, character of Zana was actually based on a woman named Jennifer. Hence. <laughs> this is the Fenton household, by the way. Same place we filmed complications. Yes. Zana was an interesting character. 
Yeah, you you really enjoyed being there. I did. I like being uh, alone. I, I, find, I see you <laughs> just randomly wearing them and weren't even filming. <laughs> yeah, at home and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it was fun. Morrison was fun, too. I really hate how you talk there. You just kind of randomly throw pauses in there. Thanks, jerk. <laughs> Xana doesn't change because Xana's too cool. She did. Now this Andy really pushed for me to be in my underwear. I, I didn't know why he wanted it. So Actually, bad. I wanted more than underwear. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> it was uh, pretty awkward. No, oh, pretty soon we're gonna have uh, Jeremy Holmquist, I think, in here. His big part. Yep. That's yep there Jeremy he is. Holmquist. That's his ear. That's his bony face. Woohoo! That's amazing. He's taller than me too. You can totally tell. Yeah. And there I'm wearing yeah. randomly wearing a belt sometimes. You can tell we filmed it on random days where I randomly felt like doing things, so <laughs> our continuity might be a little bad. I had to crop this one a little bit closer to cut off the back of the, the wig, because yeah. you were so far away it didn't make sense that it was still in the shot. Right. It was kind of hard acting to nothing and having to say only like one line at a time and put different characters in like we're having conversations. Yeah. But I pulled it off quite well, so <laughs> I'm quite proud. Well, this whole dialogue part here is inspired by uh, the one movie. That one movie. Being John Milukovic. Yes. The movie wasn't really that good, but that one scene was really funny. Yeah, so. I wouldn't recommend watching it. It's really weird. So you have no idea what we're talking about, yes. but we spoofed it. Yes. Now that jacket is actually Sam Wojak's jacket that I actually had to go to her house and steal from her. So. Oh, that's blood. Real blood. Real actually. A little sacrifice he made. Um, <laughs> on set just to get away the gold. Good, bad spirits. Good spirits. <laughs> you don't want those. Uh, yeah. So, Wilford's glasses we also got from the costume shop, and I think his wig is also from the costume shop. Yep, his old grandma's wig. Yeah, it's either from the costume shop or my house, so. Yeah. That was our budget. There's the lights randomly changed. Yeah. Now, this music we actually used to, with GarageBand, I think, mostly, and either that or we got it from Star Wars, or James Bond, or... There's one song from the 300 at the end. Yep, and then uh, Lord of the Rings, I think, is a huge one too. Uh, Maybe not. But mostly Star Wars. Yeah, a lot of Star Wars. Which kind of was, con you know, they're kind of the same movies. It's, it's yeah, just we're just as good, if yeah, not better. Exactly, so we can use them. You can tell a couple of these shots are shot at uh, different days, different totally locations. Totally places with totally different lighting, but that's okay. And you can see my glasses are starting to fall apart. That was Dustin's fault. Yeah. Well, that's a duct tape. That was pretty much the theme of this movie, duct tape. <laughs> well, in the future, everything is made out of tinfoil and duct tape. Exactly. It makes it more convenient. The captain, the captain, the captain. And the order that they go in is does not match up with the order they appeared before. And plus, she hasn't shaved in a while. <laughs> <laughs> that was that old joke right there. Yes. I love Marcin. My eyes hurt. Those suits, pains in the butts. But yes. they're still intact there. Yeah. Pretty amazed. Indeed. This transition does not work well. Well, it's this, supposed to be in this whole back scene isn't, didn't work well. That's why yeah. we kind of took it out for the last showing. But you're su suffering through it now, so might yeah. as well talk about it. This was hard to do, I think. And then the race shit comes down and blows your hand off. Which that looked fine. This whole soup thing. Yeah. Hard to do. It's actually Ben, ben wearing a green <laughs> screen all over his body and except his arm. We should have just used a cloth arm or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, it would have been better. I know this is the most interesting thing we filmed. Yeah. Was us playing with toys. Exactly. And <laughs> making them shoot at each other. Yes. I was making all the noises. I couldn't stop. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but I had to stop doing that. It was bad. And there it is blown up. That was uh, my idea to have the windows logging off sound when it blew up. Yeah. And there's the Xbox remote for our thing. Yeah. There's a little bit of a pun there since Marston was supposed to have a ton of puns yeah. in the original script idea. 
because he's mentions earlier, but when I went back to write him in, I couldn't think of any. All right. So that was one we thought of as we were going. He actually said it to Rachel as we were walking back with the pot. Oh. Notice the random big guy there. Yeah, that was like green screen. <laughs> now, if you look, our pants here are randomly torn apart. I think you can start to notice that. And I'll stay back here and watch Donna. That's the ugliest <laughs> shot known to man. Hey! I know. Hello, Jennifer. Ruining our commentary. Randomly, they're in different order, position, different and costumes. without coats. Yep. That's how it works. This is actually a hill over by McDonald's. Yes. That we couldn't film on, and it was right by the police station, so we made it quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are Andy's outfits. He has a bunch of little soldier outfits. Yes, I have my own militia. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering about that. Why don't we just use these things? Oh. I always wonder what Oh. Watch out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that was nice. How did you do that effect? I put skeletons into them. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard to do right there, but it worked out. You might not be able to. You can kind of tell the little waviness because I went and rotoscoped out your yeah. leg so it looked more like your leg was removed. Looks good. Not really. This was a bad transition, but I made it a lot better. It, it did. We kind of got really random here, so we had to cut a lot of this out for the big showing. Look, yeah. A killer that was Ashlyn Fenton who did it. Yeah. Quite, quite a good job of it. It was originally going to be Griffin, <laughs> but he didn't want to. Yeah. There's the Lego vision, I call that. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. He just edited in all the gunshots. Those ladies are the big glowing orbs. Those are real. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know how Ashlyn did it, but she just kind of... That's the uh, cross in front of the church. Yeah. He's supposed to be fighting the windmills. It's kind of hard to hard, tell. Hard to show a windmill. Yeah, and the fighting. whole windmill reference is to Don Quixote again. Yeah. In case you missed that. And we tried to explain it with the ending. But hopefully it did a good job. I doubt it. <laughs> this Here is my he has, he has one like... Oh, that worked out. That worked out one of the only things. With yeah, the human yeah. arms. Kind of a little yeah, joke like... there. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's a cheesy sci-fi movie. What do you expect from it? Well, We're in front of the church, and then we run, and then we'll appear back into the church again. Yes, it doesn't make much sense. No. And the windmills are gone. Yes. <laughs> and here we are at church. That shot was, yeah, <laughs> hard yeah. to make. But it was the best you could do, so there we go. Here's us in the sanctuary, obviously. It's dark. Donus's dungeon. Yeah, Donus's we throne went. room. Yeah. That's actually the Kyle doll there. Yep. Because <laughs> we were short, always short one person. Yeah, we were always short one person. So after he lost over. all his limbs, we just used the Kyle doll. Exactly. Now here we had about every light machine and smoke machine in the entire church and tried to put them in the sanctuary and make it not look like the sanctuary. I think it looks cool. It, it does look cool. It looked cooler not on film, but... <laughs> it, it was cool. cool. It was so cool. It was like we were high. <laughs> yeah, we were. Yeah. This is a composite shot of all of them, all of you. And randomly, Titus's height matches Marson's. Yeah. That's see, randomly we'd be like, wait, should Titus not have any limbs? Yeah, <laughs> this is one of the earlier things we shot. And the green paint, that was a nuisance. Yeah, it didn't even turn out all well. I I actually went and greened you up some more. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. And your arms aren't green for some reason. Well, it's, <laughs> it's a white. I, uh... That's, that, you see there, that's Joey, in case you can't tell. Yeah. That's Marston. Um, I would randomly have itches, so you can randomly see spots where the paint isn't there anymore. Yeah. Like the end of my nose. It itched. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got that crown from the costume shore, the horns from the costume It's a tiara. O originally, we were going to get, like, a whole bunch of horns, you know and, it's, and, like, encircle my face and stuff yeah. like that, but... Our budget wouldn't allow it. Yeah. <laughs> so we got creative and put it on your chin rather exactly. than being that normal devil. Yeah. Yeah. That's what That's what penny pinching is. <laughs> and those guns. Where'd you get those guns? I think that was at a convenience store. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty, pretty awesome. We wanted something to look really bad. Yeah. And, and it worked. <laughs> yes. I don't know what Marston's reading. I, I but don't know. It That's looks interesting. Justin seemed to try to get his own thing in every single scene. Yes. And it made it very inconvenient. This shot right here reminds me very much of an 80s music video. Music video, yeah. With That's the smoke what I was machine thinking. and the long hair and yep. glasses. And the and kind of the tint of red to it, like the a tight devil. Yeah, and the tight yeah. clothing and the boobs. And it's like Jennifer on stage at the Baby's Rock concert. <laughs> 
I, I like that shot. Nah. Meh. Nah. Random noises that always seem to fill the time. And look at the latex glove head doesn't fit Joey that well. You can yes. tell. I like how you just kind of made up words like incurry. Yes, I didn't. You're supposed to incur See, the, the script, vengeance of my wrath. The rat. script wasn't really that solid. Like, I didn't follow it that often. Yeah, so you like to ruin it my own lot. new words. This is the youth room. Yep. With the, the TV oh. gate. So. That's a force field. Though. That's real. Yeah, that is real. I almost got hurt by it. Yeah. There's our family. Which is, um, coats and jackets from the lost and found randomly found. Yes. That was just in there. Yeah. I can't tell, honestly. And that was my Darth Vader line. You are now released. Yes. This was very hard to shoot because we only had, like, one corner of the youth room. And we had to make it seem like three cells. Yeah, and the original plan was to have a little uh, cameo of Puck the Bounty Hunter. Yeah. But it just didn't fit at all. No. So we cut it. Sorry, David. Yeah. This is, uh, it was hard because, okay, what in the world? What? Sorry, I was just noticing something. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, par the problem with this scene was the stabbing of Xanus. Yeah. Which was very difficult. Because we actually green, put a green screen over your chest. Yeah. And we're going to have it stabbed through you. And it didn't turn out all that well. No, and we couldn't even find black paper. Yeah. It was we supposed did. to be a ping pong paddle going through his chest. Yeah. And then me behind it. Yeah, we didn't know what to do. And that's with. what came out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty pathetic, but it was funny. Let's go. Yeah. We didn't know what to stab him with, and there was a ping pong paddle there, so we used that. He should have just exploded like everyone else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then Wolf would be like, oh. Like, oh. That was fortunate. That was Joey's foot about three times over. Yeah. Now this scene. This scene's the, the jewel of the movie. Yeah, it was towards the end, and I got kind of frustrated because I started editing it already, and I wasn't too satisfied with the quality of our right. shooting. So I want to do something a little bit more advanced. So we spent our time on this one. Yeah, and that Marcin running fast was actually accidental. Yeah. Because it was just going to be everybody slow-mo, but except I missed him the first time I played it. It was just like really funny. <laughs> Like your overreaction. Yeah. Justin doesn't know what to do. <laughs> There's one random explosion. I was gonna put it more in there, but I got lazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, props that we, the only props we could find in the church that we could hide behind, <laughs> which yes. are three of them repeated it's, over and over. Yeah. <laughs> and it's basically everything in Pep Scott's office. Yeah. And the music we actually got from other movies like Glory and. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, what was some other ones? 300. 300. Which worked perfectly for the scene, I think. Yeah. The transition is kind of not noticeable, but we kind of gave it a greenish, desaturated yep. look. There's a random person in the background. To make there. it look <laughs> like to make it look like Saving Private Ryan, more of a dirty feel to the look. Yeah. And we have random specks on the lens, which was completely intentional. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's worked out well. I just like looking in the background and seeing random stuff. Yep. Like there's a tripod in the corner. Uh huh. <laughs> And there's a tripod over there. And, and as complicated as this was, we actually, it didn't take us that long to shoot. Yeah. We got it done pretty quick. The editing of it was a huge pain. Yeah. I spent the whole weekend before, I spent all night editing it because if I didn't finish it then, I knew it, it was never going to be done in time. Right. I think the reason this took this was easy is because it was just basically you following us with the camera. Yeah, and I kind of shook it to give it the more chaotic feel. Right. And sometimes it's just, you can tell I was just shaking the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah. Watch me, I'm going in! You had to get the random rolls and jumps in there. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like Galaxy Quest yeah. or Homage 2. And all the people are Catholic in this story. Of course. <laughs> That's how it is in the future. In the past. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. Oh yeah, that's the best shot right there. The Easter Bunny randomly showing up in the movie. Yeah. It was in the beginning. Yep. The church yeah, didn't even own it, it at there. the beginning of filming this. <laughs> <laughs> Six months ago. Yeah. And there's the rolls. And the shot's right as he rolls. <laughs> it was awesome. And the deer. Yes. The we only had, part the past Scott found funny. We had, we had to put that in there somewhere. <laughs> here's, here's a 300. 
Which wasn't even released. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, this part where they're shooting really close to each other actually came from watching uh, Space Uni, but the MST yep. of it. And there's this one guy, and they're having a big laser fight, and this guy just standing there, like, two feet away from the other guy, <laughs> shooting him. So I exaggerated it and threw it there. Yeah. And here you are groping yourself. And there's the camera bag in the back. <laughs> that, that was her oh, yeah. money bag. <laughs> and here's a random different day. Yeah, with different pants. And... This worked out well. Yeah. And here, it was actually unrendered before, so it played a slow rate, frame rate, and I kind of liked it. Yeah. Where, uh, it's a real look. Wilfred! The transition from the song into this slow song was amazing. Wilfred! We spent like a half hour just working on the music for this scene. Yeah. Uh, and here we added a little blur to it to get the softer feel. Yeah. That was a touchy uh, feel. Yes. This is between me and Ben. We just randomly switch and do lines. And yeah, and I think Ben's smiling the whole time. Yeah. As you die. My <laughs> emotional scene. See, this was hard. I had to. I had to give an emotional scene to Ben's smiling face. Yeah. Like, hard. I'm just a janitor. But it worked out well. Uh, I'm a nobody. I Luckily love your expression. No <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a has-been. I'm a never-been. I smell an Oscar. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. That's all I wanna shoot for. It was one of her last days, so I was like, I'm gonna give it my all. You saved me. You saved all of us, Wilfred. Listen to me. Stay with me, Wilfred. Wilfred. You know, a lot of these days we just spent the whole day shooting, so you didn't really feel like acting after a while. <laughs> but I thought I'd give it my all on this one. So here the whole thing is that he has a moment of weakness. Or a moment of actually being normal. Normal. And then he falls back and seeing healthy. Exactly. And then the mention of stabbing in the back, it's supposed to kinda of show that his whole heroic move, he was just kinda of confused. He just kinda of yeah. confuses him with the Zonus. Yeah. The ground's kinda of randomly shifting. Down. Yeah, and out <laughs> the uh boom mic. Yeah. If you count how many times the boom mites and you win a special <laughs> prize. Here you are beating his dead body. Yep. I was gonna add it to effect. Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna have kind of short clips is going all around, but that was hilarious just to have it drawn out forever. Yep. <laughs> and here's where the original one ended. Yep. But we uh, wait for it. There's a new ending. Woohoo! Oh. Wilfred's not actually. That we shot like a week ago. <laughs> yeah. We spent like three hours looking for the uh Cemetery. Cemetery, and we finally found a perfect one up on a little hill. And here you can see my hand motioning to Ben to put your <laughs> freaking hand on his shoulder. <laughs> and he just plops it on there, starts patting it and rubbing it. I feel so bad about abusing other people's sim tombstones. <laughs> I don't. That was less than one line. This is actually a spoof of uh, Hot Fuzz. Yep. And that, 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 uh, tombstone right there, that was just crazy. Olaf Clemens, who has that name? Oh, Olaf Clemens? We had to put that in there somewhere. <laughs> they wanted to use it as Wilfred's tomb, but it really didn't make any sense, so. Yeah. There's a camera drop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the digging equipment. Just put it like that. Yeah, yeah. And here's the ending credits. Which we actually filmed this scene at the cemetery, and then, like, two hours later, I just did the commentary outside to the try audio. to make it match. Yeah, the audio. The voiceover of it all. And it worked perfectly, because I have perfect timing. Unlike before. Yeah. Because <laughs> I did the voices of everyone, so it was pretty easy just to do voices for everyone. I just talked into my voice. Yeah. And we actually ran out of jackets. There's only two there, so Ben's wearing a black shirt with sleeves, uh, pants... As a sleeve. Yes, it looks horrible. Yes. And he doesn't look anything like you. <laughs> he looks like an old man. We pretty much gave up on things after a while. <laughs> yes, we gave up on things. Yes, <laughs> pretty much everything. I like the cemetery, though. It's kind of nice. Yes, very... Bury me there. <laughs> I will. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> so anyways, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you guys about this. The Marson scene's coming up, and that's pretty much all you need to know. It's the yeah. greatest scene in the whole movie. Oh, no, Justin fell over. Justin's what, doing what his own ben thing. What is Ben doing? He's... I don't know. He's fight, fight through a boy. He's fighting a tree. Yeah. <laughs> Ben's supposed to be the normal one. Yeah. <laughs> Ben's freaking out in a tree back there. Oh, here's the ping thing. It worked perfectly. Now, just listen to this. <laughs> Speaking of which, I gotta pee. <laughs> oh, crap. Sorry, Wilfred. Uh, Again with the Catholic reference. Yep. Uh, 
I thought everyone would be kept. And there's Dustin, who obviously isn't us, but he walks in front of the screen just because he wants airtime. That selfish little guy. Yeah. I think Justin makes a pretty good Titus, but he's yeah. horrible as Marcin and Wilfred. Yep. Your brother does a pretty good Wilfred. Yeah, he does good Wilfred. Uh, okay, I, Farron. I do good Farron. <laughs> yeah, because it's basically you. Yeah. <laughs> you do good at every character since you are that character. Yes, I am. And then you start to cry. The big guy. Yep. <laughs> those, those arms are actually from the robot. Mm-hmm. We didn't want him to have to worry Andy about... And he made the robot suit, by the way. Oh, yeah. I, I just... Daniel was supposed to help me, but he didn't. So I just spent... I was months. working or something. <laughs> I don't really remember. <laughs> I think you were sleeping. Yeah, maybe that. Lazy bum. <laughs> so we just kind of... I just took a bunch of cardboard and made a sweet... sweet My robot. idea. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I made an armor out of that one. Here's, I did the voiceover there. I did Marston's voice while I was still playing Titus because we didn't want to do voiceovers. Yeah, before it splits me in your compositor. And it's Here's my favorite line. <laughs> <laughs> Just the ship there. And here's me sabotaging the ship. Yeah, so in the beginning, this idea wasn't really part of it, and I was just kind of coming to church to film one day, and I'm like, I should throw an extra twist to the end. Yeah. And so since Marston's the only character that didn't deceive somebody, everybody, he was... Gotta throw it in there. Yeah, and it also kind of explains all of our random plot holes. Yeah. We try. We try to make it a real movie. <laughs> <laughs> Here's him gluing the... Captain's manual. Yeah, an event of a hull breach to uh, in the event of a cyborg invasion. Which is what he really read. Yes. In a phone book. <laughs> we couldn't find that one book. We shot this all on the last day and <laughs> just fun times. Here's the actual explanation for why that spaceship blew up. Yep. And uh, Marson uploaded a virus. I wore my glasses because that's my hacker glasses. Yes. And here, I did the voices for Wilfred in this scene too, right while in the scene while I'm playing Marcy. If you look at his lips, you can hardly tell he's moving them. I know. It's very uncanny. I'm very good at the chill quiz. Of course, he has to sit in the wrong seat. <laughs> <laughs> this is all pretty much improv, by the way. These last scenes are all improv. Yes, that's why they suck. Yes. <laughs> hey, they're the best in the movie. <laughs> And uh, here's that clock that we got from Pastor Scott Wilcox, along with the Play-Doh. Yep. And my lanyard. <laughs> Which you broke from the, because Shut of this. Shut up. Did you steal Dwight's yet? Huh? Did you steal Dwight's yet? Nope. And this is the whole thing is the Marston's voice changing. I thought it would be really funny. Uh, but you were wrong. No, I was <laughs> right. I like a deep, dark We'll, we'll let the audience be the decision. <laughs> Um, and here right now, you, uh, yeah. I tried to explain the whole movie right there. Yeah. I randomly just thought of it. And it looks like you did. Yeah. He's just a normal janitor until I screwed him. Do you what? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Ben as all the ninjas. You can tell this time he is in his yard. Oh, we still have, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love this scene. <laughs> My cape randomly in different positions. I just like to have bloated the loop. Obviously, I'm trying to spoof the emperor. <laughs> I love it. Flapping in the wind. <laughs> anyway, so you were talking about how you got these names? Yeah, I use a random name generator because in the in uh, complications, I just use kind of plain names, like John and Alex and such. So in this one, I wanted some more exotic names and erotic. You know, this is just really funny. Let's yeah. just talk about this while well, this is going on. And the butt crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so go on. Yeah, so I just kind of random generated names that kind of sounded spacey. And uh, most of them ended up being Polish. Yeah. Most of these are Polish names. And I will soon have your ship. 
and become supreme commander of... Well, the ship. Mm. This wasn't a good plan. <laughs>